Today I'm gonna play Baldur's Gate 3 and I'm gonna explain what you should do in matter of uh, this question that you're gonna get in Act 3 from the Emperor. You should let him evolve you or you should not. Uh, I'm gonna give you some examples, some consequences if you do that uh, are not, I'm gonna tell you that from the start, uh, are not that, is not that a big of a deal uh, right now. In my opinion, obviously, I'm gonna talk uh, with you, uh, with my perspective, and uh, basically you're gonna become a half elite. I I never know how to pronounce the name. Sorry about that. English is my second language, so you're gonna become a half mind flare. Let's call it that, and it's gonna change your appearance. That will be the first thing that you should know. Basically, you're gonna have some uh, veins, some black veins uh, on your face. That is the most uh, important thing in my opinion. And also, if you decide to do that, later on in the game you can just become, uh, you can unlock a new ending or an ending when you just become the Mind Flare. So basically you're gonna uh, unlock the Mind Flare ending, uh, but only if you like, but later on, not right now. Uh, you will have different op options. You can eat it, we can open the mind to this Todd pole and uh, you know what, I'm gonna show you all the options because there is something secret, not secret, uh, something quite interesting if you decide to open the mind to that uh, to that little worm. So uh, this in the first part I'm gonna eat it, I'm gonna see uh, what will happen if I'm gonna eat this, uh, but I just told you, you're gonna be transformed a little bit in a matter of how you look and also uh, something very important, you're gonna access new powers. So basically you're gonna have a uh, few more points in your uh, in that brain thing, uh, uh, I don't know the terms in this game, sorry about that, but I'm gonna show you after we're gonna eat it, what it will happen. You can just access new powers, but uh, no one in your party will approve that, you should know that. At least uh, at the beginning, no one in your par party will not uh, approve what you just did. Uh, what uh, they will not approve that decision. Uh, but later on, you can just convince them to change their minds, and you can. Uh, that's going. Uh, that's. It's gonna be quite difficult to do. Okay. But also something important that I just meant that I wanted to mention is the fact that you can uh, convince them to eat that worm and you can transport them, transform them into uh, a mind uh, flare. How crazy it will be that! But I'm gonna show you how I did that uh, with one of my party uh, members. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the chosen. The brain has gone to the city and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach. And now as you can see I just become a half a mind flare. Uh, my appearance has been changed a little bit. You're gonna get this message. And then if you go to that brain thing of yours that uh, it's on the right part where the worms where you can just put your worm, where you can access new powers, you'll uh, find that you have more points that you can use and also you just unlock new powers. So this will be the first decision, decision I'm gonna show you the second one. Also there is another option that it's quite similar with the first one, you can just eat it, the first part, just eat it. You can uh, ask what is that and then just eat it and you're gonna do the same thing like uh, like I did in the first part when I try to detect uh, the thoughts of, of this thing to see the thought pole intentions. A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. I suppose if it works, but if you had opened your mind to him rather than consumed it, your allies could have taken advantage of its power as well. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches your flesh, you feel. But we must. You heard. We must. And as you can see right here, I have 12 points also from eight. And the, another option, you can just open your mind to the tadpole. Uh, what means? What will mean the, if you do that? Very simple. You're gonna get this little worm in in your inventory. You're not gonna eat it, and basically you can just transform your party members uh, into mind flares with this uh, thing, like I'm gonna do a little bit later in this video. But I'm gonna let you with this awesome cutscene. Where it touches your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel. 
different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind. You are. When your allies see what you can do, but we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marched. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain. Okay, as you can see in my inventory, I have this astral touch uh, tadpole. And you know what? If you wanna go um, to your camp and discuss with Shadow Heart, Shadow Heart, uh, I think we can just discuss with more than one uh, party member. But I just want to, to give an example. You can just transform her if you uh, have. If, depends what is your dialogue with this uh, and what is your uh, story behind this uh, this relationship. But for me, with uh, a little bit of a luck. I just convince her to transform and you're gonna get a really awesome uh, cutscene. I'm gonna unlock for her some new powers. That's it. These are the consequences. Not so many. Uh, definitely, as I just told you later on, if you decide to do that, you can just unlock the Mind Flare ending. Like, subscribe, share, press that notification bell and like always, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye. And yes, just look at this thing. <laughs> crazy or what? <laughs> look at his her mouth. You feel a little different. bit crazy. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. Perhaps once the others see what you can do, they will consider trying it for themselves. A long way to go still.